Hi guys, so I am back on YouTube. Do you know how excited I am that I'm back on YouTube? Oh my God, it's been years. I have made a promise to myself that I'm gonna fully commit to you guys and it's literally my commitment to the end of the year and then I'm just gonna see how things go. I really don't like any sort of pressure, so I'm just gonna see how things go. Anyway, I have a new amazing camera and I'm like obsessed with it and I'm loving it and I just sometimes I feel like psychologically getting a new camera just kind of helps you make better content, right? Anyway, you guys have been asking me so many questions on my Instagram, nor my assistant, my gorgeous, gorgeous assistant. By the way, I don't know why I would do without her. I'd literally be lost. But she is gonna be answering, asking me some of the questions that you guys have been asking me and I'm gonna answer them. I don't know what the questions are. I don't know what she's gonna ask me. So it's gonna be completely natural and yeah, we can go. Oh, actually, I wanna, I wanna tell you about a quick parakeet story. So you can probably hear, I'm filming like just outside my garden and um, yeah, you can hear parrots. Uh, one day I went to Hyde Park and I saw the most amazing um, parrots and they were like the green, the most beautiful parrots ever and um, I, I fed them and they were on my arm and since then I became obsessed and I just wanted them in my garden and I would literally pray to God and I'd be like, God, please somehow bring these parrots into my garden please, I want to feed them. So what I started doing is I went to the pet shop and I got lots of amazing seeds and peanuts and whatever nuts and whatever they eat and I put them out. I'm not joking or exaggerating. About a month later, I saw parakeets in my garden and it's been two years now. Every summer they happen to come back into my garden and there's about seven or eight parakeets in my garden. See, did you hear that? Like, they just so know I'm filming a YouTube video. <laughs> can, can you hear the parrots? They're so cute. I'm gonna try and put a picture up of them. They're the cutest, cutest things. They're, they're just so, they actually know that I'm speaking about them. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's my cute par uh, parakeet story. They're the cutest, they're beautiful, they're stunning. And you know, it's just such a blessing that I can feed them because I'm just a huge animal lover. Okay. Let's um, let's get going. Okay, so first question. What's the next YK product and when do you intend to have a new release? Well, I don't want to give it away, but you guys can comment up below and give me some ideas. I do have something in mind. Um, I want to launch it for my birthday in September. So it's July, no, June right now. And I'm going to be doing the most amazing launch for my birthday collection in September. And I promise you guys it will be worth the wait. I haven't done a collection, limited edition collection, for about two years. So I'm super excited about this one. And it's going to be amazing. But if you guys have any suggestions, please, please, please comment below and tell me what you guys would like to see for my birthday collection. Okay, a lot of Dubai questions okay. from your recent trip. I'm obsessed with so, Dubai. Would you consider moving to Dubai and what is the best area to stay in? Uh, yes, so I have decided to move to Dubai, 50% in Dubai, 50% in London from October this year, inshallah, I hope so. Um, it's something that I've been wanting to do for such a while actually. I was supposed to move in September 2020, but then obviously you guys know COVID hit and COVID was in March 2020. So I couldn't, I couldn't do the move. And since then, it's kind of been playing on my mind. It's something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. So you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. But I won't ever leave London, so don't worry. I love London, London has my heart. But Dubai is just like, it's kind of like my, getaway i feel like i'm on holiday but i'm still working and i have so many friends and family there and it just seems like the right time to do this and what was the second oh where i would stay um best i think area best area to stay so i have a lot of family there but i think i'm gonna stay in downtown near dubai more because i just feel like for me to like make the move there um i just think it's the best area for me to start off um, there's so many amazing areas in Dubai, but I feel like downtown is more convenient and it would be really great for me to stay there for like two, three months and just kind of like see whether I actually like Dubai or not. Okay. Do you have any visiting recommendation spots in Dubai and is it expensive to live as a family? Um, 
That's such a hard question and I'll tell you why, because it just depends what kind of lifestyle you have. Like I do go out a lot, I love dinners, I love fine dining, um, and that can get expensive in any country, whether you live in New York, London, Dubai, uh, but there's so many amazing places in Dubai and you can keep within your budgets. Um, what was the question? Visiting recommendations. Visiting recommendations. I, I've been going to Dubai for years, so I haven't done any of the touristy stuff for such a long time. But if you're going to Dubai for the first time, um, or you haven't haven't been there for a while, um, I love the water park. So Atlantis and Wild Wadi is amazing. Um, it's so fun, any age, especially if you have kids, it's incredible. Um, I think it's called Miracle Gardens. Miracle Gardens was amazing. It's honestly breathtaking, full of beautiful flowers, and it's stunning. Um, where else? I can't think of any more tourist places right now, but obviously there's so many, like so, like an endless list. Okay, love your content. Suggest something for scars. Oh, okay. This is this is a good YK plug question. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much. Firstly, and secondly, for any sort of scarring blemishes, I highly recommend the YK Desert Island Oil. It's a face oil that I made about five years ago, and it's literally till this day one of my best sellers, along with the YK Glow Serum. And it's targeted at pigmentation. It's targeted at as, as uh, any sort of blemishes or scarring um, in your uh, in on your skin. Um, it has Jasmine Absolute, which is such a beautiful um, oil to have. Um, it's also antidepressant and helps people that suffer from anxiety. It has lavender in it, so it really helps you go to sleep. And um, it's such a beautiful oil, and I highly recommend that for any sort of pigmentation. The second product I would highly recommend for pigmentation out of my range would be the Eye Cream for Eye Cream Base Mask. Again, super targeted at uh, pigmentation. What foundation do you currently use? Currently, I'm using the Sephora one. It's the matte Sephora foundation. Um, I've been using it for years. It's kind of like my everyday foundation. It's super light. It's really great coverage without feeling so heavy and sticky. Um, it's just such a nice foundation to wear, especially over my YK Glow Serum, which is the vitamin C and E serum. It kind of gives you like a dewy, glossy look, and I love that. Would you go on Indian Matchmaker? This is so funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> By the way, I'm obsessed with Indian Matchmaker and I saw Seema Auntie in Dubai and I died. I was like fangirling, like I was like a fangirl and I was like, should I go up to her now? Should I go up to her later? Um, I saw her at the Atlantis at the Nobu Hotel, at, sorry, at the Nobu, at the Atlantis. And um, yeah, I love Indian Matchmaker. I think it's so fun. Um, I'm really obsessed with it. I'll do one more question and then I have to go, guys. Would you be, would you go on a reality show again? Oh, what a great question to end on. Uh, do you know what? I have asked myself this question a few times and the truth is I probably would even though Bessie Rascals cringes me out and I cannot believe some of the stuff that I said on there, but it was such a huge, amazing experience. And if it wasn't for Bessie Rascals, I wouldn't be here today filming content for you guys and having all this amazing following and have my business. So I'm so, so grateful for the experience that I got from the reality TV show. And if I was offered a reality TV show, yes, I would go on it. But honestly, I would want my own reality TV show, inshallah, one day, maybe. I can have my own show, but um, yeah. Oh yes, that was the last question. <laughs> okay guys, well it was amazing coming on here. I didn't want to do like a too lengthy long video. I just wanted to do a really quick short video, a few questions that you've been asking me and just kind of reintroduce myself to YouTube and just tell you guys how much I love you always. You guys send me the most amazing positive energy and I send it right back to you guys. And just want to say that I love you.